for cheap Power World items and boosting services from DigiZanny, stock up on gold, materials and more for Power World. And using discount code HAM for a 5% discount, you can't go wrong. Power World has some really, really interesting glitches and today I'm going to be showing you some more of the really, really cool ones, especially after the new update of 0.1.5.1. I'm going to be showing you things like how you can defeat any of the tower bosses in the entire game with absolute ease. You can do this literally with any flying mount in the entire game. That is all you need, a flying mount and a meat cleaver. I'll show you how to do that in this video, so stay tuned and keep watching until you find that out. Honestly, it is so cool. I really, really like it. I think you're going to enjoy it as well. I'm also going to be showing you the fastest pal in the entire game and it is nuts. I really, really like this one. But anyway, if you can leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be much appreciated. Let's crack on with the video and don't forget to check out the sponsor as well in the link down below. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. So what would you do if I told you, in Pal World, this pal right here, the Jet Dragon, is not the fastest in the entire game. I'm not even joking. I am not lying when I say that, because I'm going to show you right now, and I'm going to prove to you which pal is the quickest. You can let me know your thoughts down below if you think this is right or not, but I believe it is, and it's a really, really cool glitch that you can do to easily traverse around the map. It is such a sick idea, and it's a really, really low-level one as well. So you don't have to go and capture the Jet Dragon or anything like that. All you need is this guy right here. And you need his gloves, just so you can do this little glidey thing. It's very, very simple to do. All you need is a grappling hook. So, what we're going to do is look at the grappling hook right here. We need to shoot it far away. Obviously, you can tell if I shoot it like this, it won't go further. So, what we need is we need to aim it at the ground. And as you're in the air, moving towards it, what's going on over there? You just need to click control to cancel it and then press space to activate this glider right here. Look at this. Look how quick this is. You can look any direction you want. You can carry on going. How quick is this? I went all the way from my base to over here in what? A couple of seconds? How nuts is that? So I'm just going to show on screen here a side-by-side -side comparison between that and the Jet Dragon. How pretty close it is, they're more or less the same speed, but the Jet Dragon loses its stamina very quickly. So, I think the Hang Yu actually wins this race. It's a really, really handy glitch, especially in low levels, if you don't have the Jet Dragon. It's actually nuts how quick this is. I'm not even holding anything. I'm not touching my keyboard or mouse or anything like that. I've not even used half of my stamina. It is sick. So next up, I'm going to be showing you some really, really cool underground secret base locations that you can actually use in dedicated servers. These are crazy. I would recommend these very highly. So going into my PAL box right here to fast travel, one is located to the left-hand side over here just by the Eternal Pyre Tower entrance. So it's this rock pool right here. We can transfer right to this fast travel spot right here. This one needs a heat resistant armor, obviously, because if you don't, you'll burn like I am right now. So I'm going to chuck that on wherever that is. And we need to get our pal out like this and go towards the cliff edge right here. You need to be able to have the pal out and be able to climb on the side of the wall just like this. So we have the pal right next to us, climb on the side of the wall and pet the Jetragon right here. You can now mount the pal and as you can see, I am under the map. It is pretty damn cool. Easy to do as well. We just go towards this little area right here and we can just try and no clip our way up like this. There we go. So I'm just gliding there waiting for him to no clip through the floor. Very simple enough. Nice and easy and we have this open space right here. If I look directly upwards the lava pool is there. I am under the lava. So I can just get on him and go up here. There will always be at least one pal that spawns here. So you can either kill it or you can farm these, go in and out and just farm these pals. So yeah, what we can do is we can build a pal box. So we're going to build it on the floor right here. This is an awesome little area, especially if you're on dedicated servers and you want to have a secret base location. This base location is a great way of actually using this as a secret location underground where you can build any structure you like or use it as a secret 
storage location that you can hide from your friends or showcase the fact you found a really cool glitch for them to see. Next up we're going to talk about how you can actually beat any of the tower bosses in the entire game with literal ease and they will not hit you once this is so easy to do. You just need the butcher method you can do this with any of the flying type pals I'm using the jet dragon for this instance but any will work. All you need is the meat cleaver. After you have done the butcher method you can tell that it works because it will then sink underground. You now need to go into the boss area like on screen here. Just run round the boss, avoid a couple of the attacks and run to the back of the arena where you can throw your pal down. You can throw the pal on the floor and instantly go forward and mount it again. It will go under or over as you could see the invisible wall and you can now run round the back and just drop the pal from your party, re-pick it back up and you can now fly it again. You now need to turn around and fly the opposite direction away from the boss and then when you come back he will be completely frozen and will not hit you at all. So we go really high up and we can drop down on top of it like this. There's an invisible floor right here which is absolutely fine because now we can do the butcher glitch again and then while we're doing it just get on top of him, dismount again can pick up the stuff if you want to and then this is the tricky part you need to go very quickly you can throw it and he falls through the invisible floor so we go bang mount him like that dismount again on the way down I can now just hit him he's staring at me look at him bless him he thinks he can hit me but he can't it is such a simple thing to do I love this method it's so simple to do how quickly did I do that in about a minute or something I can actually hit him, do loads of damage. I didn't realise the bow could do that much damage. That's pretty cool. There we go. And now we can end up chipping away at his health. And you can actually pull the jet dragon back out if you want to to help you fight. We can now just come on to attack aggressively. He'll fight again. And no retaliation at all. This is a way that you can beat any of the bosses in the entire game. Such a simple and easy method. I rec can't recommend this enough. Try it for yourself. There we go, first boss complete, lovely old stuff. Didn't even break a sweat, I don't even move. How simple and easy is that? We are now moving over to this dune shelter right here. So on the map it is located towards the top right where all these locations are right here. So you teleport to this area and sometimes there is a glitch where the merchants won't spawn in. Well actually it means that they've spawned under the map. And in my case, they have spawned in. They'll be right here, two of them here, another guy right there, some outside the zone, but sometimes they won't appear. But this is also a really good way of actually just having a secret base location. So if we go over to this side of the mound right here, normally there is a black marketeer here. He might actually be under the ground as well. So what we need to do is we need to go over to this location, run down here and around this area where you can climb on the wall pet them like this, there you go, and it will just no clip through the wall. Now we can get off again, and we are under the ground like this. It is a really, really simple and easy way of just getting under the ground, and you can just no clip yourself a few times, as many times as you want. So just after a little while of wangling my way through the rocks, I've managed to get myself under the dunes shelter right here. It is a very, very strange location, I don't really understand this, but at the same time I think it's very cool. All I can do is just have my pal moving around here. It's a simple place that you can just hide away from other players on dedicated servers, hide from raids as well, secret storage location as well, just like the last place. I think this place is really cool. I would recommend this, especially if you're having the issues with speaking to the actual merchants themselves. Sometimes I'll be under the ground. This helps a lot, honestly, it really does. If you found any of these glitches helpful, leave a comment down below and a like and subscribe to the channel and check out the sponsor of today's video, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much and goodbye.